There we go with the kicks immediately. And just like she said, she wants a knockout within the first within the first five seconds. So she's. But we also don't. You don't want to empty out the gas tank too early. Exactly. Even though these rounds are three two-minute rounds, two minutes can be a long time, especially if you haven't finished your opponent yet. And going into the second round now. Oh, just a slip and fall there. Yeah, a little slip caught her foot on the cage. Needs to just relax a little bit, get her timing. And really, some of those kicks will be a little bit more effective if she puts some punches before them. Exactly. You want to set up, set up those kicks. You don't just want to you know, wing kicks at your opponent blindly there. They can see it coming from all the way. They can either move out the way, they can check it. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> not sure why she rushed yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's not MMA. If this was MMA, that would have been the perfect follow-up. But when it comes to kickboxing, she needs to settle down and That's some debut know, hone, exactly, you know, <laughs> hone in on some of that aggression there. But that's going to be one of the things that works in Natalie Lareda's favor. She's so used to throwing those kicks, and she's very fast with them. Her opponent may not be used to the speed and the angles that those kicks are coming from. And you can kind of see it's overwhelming her just a little exactly. bit. Exactly. But she's staying in there. Yeah, it seems like Brooke O'Dell hasn't been able to, to get in a rhythm yet of herself here or been able to get any space or breathing room here as Natalie Laredo continues that onslaught of kicks and punches. But we will see how she reacts to going to the corner for the first time. Exactly. Having to sit down, relax a little exactly. bit, hear your yep. coaches. Because sometimes you know that's when the, the muscles can start to get tired. Your forearms, your legs, it's like, oh shit, it's real. Exactly. No matter what you do in the gym, nothing will prepare you for the light, especially at a venue such as Kribi Royale. We got these bright lights, we got the production, the staff. This is a little bit bigger cage than what most gyms are used to or what even what most gyms have in yep. the area. So it's interesting to see, you know, how does she come back? Does she follow up that same level of aggression going into the second round? Or is he going to see an adrenaline dump for you know, as those muscles start to fatigue, as all the aggression, that blood pumping yeah. coming out of the first round? Round number two coming up of the much-anticipated debut of Natalie Lareda. You see Natalie's breathing a little bit heavier there, but she's ready. Here we go. She's like a little pit bull right now that just yeah, wants definitely. to <laughs> go and attack. But Brooke is definitely standing in there still. She's not, you know, she hasn't given up. She hasn't turned her back or anything like that. She's still standing in the pocket and willing to, to sling and throw down with, with yeah, Natalie. no doubt. Well, that is one thing. It seems that I would say Brooke has a little bit better, more controlled hands. And some of those punches are starting to land a little bit with Natalie keeping her chin up. Yeah, especially taking this fight, you know, today, short, short notice, you could definitely tell that Brooke Odell is a, is a confident individual. Anybody who takes a fight on, you know, a week's notice or, the, you know, hours notice, she's definitely not scared of anybody, no matter what the name has behind her, the cameras, the lights, or whatever family she comes from. Yeah. Brooke is definitely not scared to get in there with whoever she faces. She's game and definitely deserves a lot of respect for that because all these cameras, knowing that a lot of people are looking at Lareda and you still took that fight, Yeah. much respect to her. And it's not like she's getting destroyed or anything. No, I she's think uh, It's very competitive right now, especially in the second round. She's yeah. not getting overwhelmed. I feel like she adjusted to the speed and – Natalie has slowed down a Look little bit. Considerably. Exactly, yes, definitely so. Because well, we were seeing, what, a kick every few seconds? Yeah, exactly. That was a big the right round. there that just landed for Brooke. And now the kicks have slowed down. You see her breathing a little bit exactly, harder. Exactly, yep. But she's still trying to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, every punch, every punch that Natalie is throwing is definitely with bad intentions. It's, it's knockout behind each punch that she throws. Whereas Brooke is just timing her shots a little bit more and just trying to piece her up. And, and so, oh, there we go. 
knocked that, that right hand there. Big right left. That, that was a good right Definitely. to end the round. All right, so uh, quite a bit less stank on the punches in that second yeah, round from Lareda, and uh, Brooks seems to be warming up. Yeah, yeah exactly. So yeah. this third round is going to be really interesting. You can definitely tell that Brooke is a little bit of the more experienced fighter in here. I'm not quite sure like how many uh, fights she has on her, but we definitely tell that she has fought before. She stayed composed, you know, fought through the onslaught of that first aggression of Natalie in that first round. But definitely when it came to the second round, you were able to see a little bit more of her technique, yeah, you know, she, make its way through. She's coming in here looking to be the spoiler, looking to r ruin yeah, the night. Yeah, I'd say the first round goes to Natalie, second round went to Brooke. And we've seen a lot of, especially with the amateurs, where someone comes out super hard like that, they're not able to weather the storm. It kind of breaks them a little bit. With Brooke, it seems like it kind of just revved her up, and she was like, okay, you can you can throw hard at me, but I'm going to come back at you. Exactly. And we've been talking a lot about the pressure that Brooke, you know, face having to face somebody with a little bit of, you know, family celebrity behind him. But what about the pressure for, for Natalie? You know, the, all eyes on her. She's coming out of a, you know, a premium gym in Fusion Excel. They got a lot of you know, up-and-coming amateurs, established pros, and UFC people, you know, training at the gym as well, and especially given, you know, who her sister who her sister is. So a lot of pressure. I would say there's more pressure on Natalie here to succeed than it is on Brooke. Very true, very true. Oh, a slip there. And I always hate the saying of living under someone's shadow. I feel like she's trying to break apart and make a name for herself. Yeah, definitely. You see that her, her sister came in there after rounds one and, and two. Sometimes I don't, you know, I don't necessarily um, would suggest that having such a close family member in there and they're with you, you know, your a sister or a dad or something or a brother or something, unless, you know, they are well well versed in the in the sport that you're that you're taking part in. Yeah. Because you also, too, don't want the, the voice of your of your sibling to overshadow that of your coaches. Very true, because then there's like an emotional response sometimes. Exactly. And we can hear Valerie getting very fired up right now. Exactly. She's looking for that knockout, that overhand right, but Brooke is standing in the pocket, returning of her own with some looping hooks and punches there. They both kick at the same time there. <laughs> she act, said she ate it. That was definitely a great fight there. Both of those ladies definitely came to throw down. Brooke is so calm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action. But I will say those kicks of Nally were impressive. Awarded your winner by way of unanimous decision out of the red corner, Natalie Voileta. And Natalie secures the she makes decision. Her, yep, gets that debut victory.